Hi, Jody. We, we, we've talked about uh, UAVs in the past. Uh, you see, the experience in the RCAF uh, came through Afghanistan. The requirement to, to operate with UAVs, I think every country in the world, every Air Force, is, uh, is going this way. This is an added capability, even if it's a niche capability. In Canada, uh, obviously, the need to deploy with uh, UAVs is there, but the, the bigger need is certainly in Canada. Uh, with the landscape we need to cover, maritime patrol and our responsibility in the Air Force and the Arctic, UAVs are an outstanding asset we're trying to, uh, to, to acquire. It gets complicated because uh, you need range and you need uh, you need uh, speed to go against the, uh, the the high winds that uh, you'll find 25,000 feet in, uh, in Canada. So, uh, how do you find the right platform? Right now, the the platform choices uh, are a, a hail long range that certainly can cover the, uh, the the whole of Canada, but it's very very expensive. And the capability uh, that that you've got that you can patrol. Uh, I would actually want to, to carry a payload. I would actually want to be a bit more maneuverable to go at lower altitude to send some video back if we want some, uh, some more uh, reconnaissance on, on, on a specific issue. And right now the, uh, the long range hail do not provide this. To, to get those capabilities you need to go towards a, a mail. And a mail is great for deployment, it's great for carrying payload, but uh, the speed is kind of limited. So, so we've been struggling with those capabilities that do not necessarily fit into the Canadian requirement, and especially the amount of money we're willing to invest into this. The next generation of mail is actually providing some, uh, some, some hope. I'm seeing some mail with a higher speed, uh, a good range, uh, cargo, payload carrying capability. If I want to patrol in the north and carry a search and rescue uh, load with it, just in case, be able to, uh, to go and, uh, and uh, uh, deploy outside the country and deployment is not just a conflict area actually in Haiti I could have used some uh, some UAVs to uh, give us a picture of uh, what's happening on the ground which roads are open where the damage is so pursuing a capability and I'm seeing a compromise coming up with some enhanced uh, male uh, UAVs uh, and that's coming in the future and this is what we're looking at